Welcome to Jack Knits and today we are going to knit up this very super quick and easy knitted baby hat. This is so easy it can knit up within an afternoon or a couple evenings. There is absolutely no seaming to do and no decreases at the top to worry about. So for a uh, beginner knitter this is the perfect, perfect project. We are going to use for this particular hat um, a worsted weight yarn. I would suggest using an acrylic yarn for a baby. You want to be able to put it in the wash if you need to, so not anything that's wool. And I would just really find a nice soft yarn um, that will be nice and comfortable uh, for the baby. So worsted weight yarn, any color will do. I like to do some of the neutral colors for babies. I think that's really pretty. You don't have to stick with pastels with babies anymore. Any color works great. In addition to the worsted weight yarn, you will need a round circular night needle. I am using a US size seven and you want like a 16 inch round circular needle because we're gonna be knitting this hat in the round and you want to be able to have the stitches fit comfortably on the circular needle. You will also need a darning needle, a scissors, and a stitch marker, although the stitch marker is optional. All right, let's get started. I've got two sizes here for the hat. The small is for infant sizes and the large is for like a toddler size. The really only difference is, is the number of stitches that you're gonna cast on and how long you're gonna make your hat. I am going to, for this video, do the infant size, um, but if you'd like to see instructions for both the infant and the toddler size, I will have a link to the pattern in the description below. So let's get started for the infant size hat. You will cast on 66 stitches. Okay, so let's get started doing the long tail cast on method for casting on stitches. If you need a refresher on how to cast on, I will have a link in the upper right hand corner that gives you full instructions on how to cast on. But let's get started. I will cast on 66 stitches. Let's get my little tail going here. And we'll just start casting on. So two, three, four, five, six. I will keep going here until I have 66 stitches on my needle and then we'll get started with the pattern. Okay, after I cast it on 66 stitches, we are ready to start working in the round. It's a very simple pattern. This is a, just a one by one ribbing, which means we are going to knit one and purl one and repeat that sequence all the way around the row or the round and we're just going to keep doing that same repeat for the entire hat so it's just one one stitch repeat that you have to worry about so here when you cast on your stitches you want to lay down your circular needle on a hard surface here and you want to make sure that it's sitting kind of in a curve here and that all your cast on stitches are pointing towards the middle you don't want to twist your stitches when you start that first row you're going to want your working yarn to be coming off the right side of your round needle and we're going to begin knitting the stitches on the left side of the needle. So take your working yarn and begin this um, knitting one and purling one sequence. So we're going to start with the first knit stitch, then do a purl stitch, and let's just repeat that. Knit one, purl one. Now this first row is going to feel a little tight that you um, feel snug on your needle but don't don't worry as soon as you knit a couple rows uh, that will uh, fill up nicely and you it won't be so snug so we're going to keep doing this knit one purl one all the way to the end of the row all right so how are we coming i have knitted a few rows of that knit one purl one and you're just going to continue with this same sequence you're just going to be knitting one and purling one for the entire hat. So this is where you go on autopilot. You just keep knitting round after round and uh, just keep going for quite a ways. So for this uh, infant size hat, we are going to knit for, let's measure it here for you. We're gonna undo our brim. We are going to knit for a total of eight and a half inches from your cast on edge. Um, and that allows for this folded over brim now, if you do not want a brim, you can stop earlier and knit for uh, about six and a half inches long. So as you go, just kind of um, measure what you've got done. So I've got 
an inch done already, so I gotta go all the way up to eight and a half inches. So just keep going. I'll check back with you when we get near the end, and then I'll show you how to wrap it up and finish it off. Okay, so I have knitted my one by one ribbing, which is knit one per one, all the way up to this length, which is about eight and a half inches. Let's measure here. Yep, it's about eight and a half inches. So now I'm ready to finish this off and close up the top. Now I had mentioned that this hat does not require any decreases, which is true. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, clip our yarn here and then thread it onto our needle and then weave all the stitches from the knitting needles onto our darning needles and then cinch it tight to close up the hole for the hat. Um, that is 60 stitches that you are cinching tight. So that is kind of a lot of stitches to hold um, tight into a, to a tiny little spot there. So if you would like an optional way, which I did on this one, is first do your last roll by knitting two together for every two stitches. So, or, or every, just repeat that all the way to the end of the row. So instead of weaving in your uh, stitches at the end here, you do knit two together like this, all the way to the end of the row. And what that will do is that will decrease your number of stitches that you have on your needle by half. So you'll have less of a bulk to cinch together at the top. That is completely optional. You can do that. It really doesn't make that much difference in the look of the top of the hat. You can see that it looks very similar um, both ways. So however you feel comfortable doing it um, is fine. I'm going to just, without any decreases, just take them all and cinch it together. So let's, um, cut a good you know 10 inches or so of yarn here now let's weave it uh, or uh, thread it onto our needle and now I'm just going to one by one take these stitches off my knitting needle and onto my darning needle like so and I'm going to do that till all my stitches are off my needle all the way around Okay, doing the last couple stitches there. We're all done with the knitting needle. We can set that aside. Now we have all of our stitches onto our thread attached to the darning needle. So now what we're gonna do is just simply pull that very tight to close up that hole at the top, as small as you can get it. We're gonna do some now extra securing because obviously this is too big of a hole. Let's put our needle through the center of the hole and start working on the inside of the hat now just to kind of close this up much tighter. We're gonna keep pulling it tight and I'm going to now continue uh, do a kind of another round of these last stitches. Now you don't have to pick up every single stitch but kind of go through that last row of stitches that you went through with your darning needle again. So after I do a bunch of them like this, I'm gonna pull and pull again tight. And then it's, uh, once you're kind of happy with how it is, kind of grab from the other side several stitches, and then we're going to tie a knot. So pull it almost all the way through, pull it again through there, give it a good knot. Okay, so now we've closed up our top and we can weave in our ends. So I'll weave in that one here. Let's start by weaving in this one from our cast on edge. We are going to fold up this brim so it's gonna be short. So I wanna weave in my edge on the inside of my brim here. Best way to do it on a ribbing is just to kind of go up one side of the knit stitch Kind of wrap it around and then do that again going down to the other side. And we can snip off the end. Let's weave that in on the inside as well. Our tail from the top of the hat.
do that a few times so it kind of and we can trim that off okay now we can fold up our our brim and there we have a darling cute little hat for an infant so this is the infant size again we cast it on 66 stitches no decreases no seams this also is the infant size this uh, is more of a toddler size i cast it on 80 stitches for this hat and just um, lengthened the height of it by i think a little less than an inch to make it a little bit longer so here you can see that i added a couple pom-poms to these infant size hats that is completely optional i think they look adorable either way but a fun little thing to add so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, a uh, quick, easy, knitted baby hat. They make for perfect last minute baby gifts because you can do it in one or two sittings. Um, it does not take long at all. So I hope you enjoy again. Um, thanks for watching everyone and happy knitting.